<laughs> I'm sorry, I meant almost as many guys as your sister. <laughs> Artie, not laughing. Wow. What do Beer League and Betho have in common? No matter how hard Howard's plugging it, nobody's coming. <laughs> years and I'm still disgusted with those fat brown shit smelling lips but enough about Robin's pussy let's roast Gary <laughs> what can I say about Gary Delabate you got a face like a horse you've sucked Howard's cock to make it in show business and you love eating at Nobu oh wait that's my roast about Beth I'm sorry about that <laughs> Sorry, Beth. In case you didn't get that joke, let me translate. That was me pissing you off, Howard. You know, Howard, I'm sorry. I, really, I was going to ask your permission for that joke, but you were on vacation. <laughs> Dreaming about firing you. <laughs> All right. Let's finally roast Baba Boy. Gary. Gary's breath so bad at his dad's wake it was a closed casket. And it was his father who shut the fucking lid. A lot of people don't know this, but when Gary's father died, he donated his organs. Not the ones for transplants, the ones he would grind while Gary danced in the street. And your poor father, your poor father. He left this earth to get away from a son who's a monkey, and now he's in heaven with a son who's a fag. Oh. You can't miss Gary's brother. He's the only angel with wings and knee pads. You know, Gary, if God only knew he was your brother who was sucking dick, he would have given him your lips. Gay, Gary and his very gay brother have a lot in common. One's got the smell of man ass in his mouth, and the other one's Gary's brother. You know, Gary was worried I would make fun of his fag brother who died of AIDS. Yeah, well, you should have thought about that before you bit him. Because a monkey gives AIDS, stupid. Oh, it took me a minute. It took me a minute. But enough of those two. They're dead and no longer embarrassed to be seen by you. With you. I can't even believe I'm up here wasting my time roasting you. Who fucking gives a shit? I'd rather roast a Puerto Rican doorman. I thought you're supposed to roast people with accomplishments. What have you accomplished? Wiping your own ass without flinging it? <laughs> But I must admit, I will say one thing. If it wasn't for Gary's lips and teeth, I wouldn't have a job. And that's the truth. So I want to say thank you. You should stop. That's funny in and of itself. Say, I want to say thank you to Gary Delabate, or by that popular nickname we all know him by. No, nigger lips. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Sal the stockbroker. Sal the stockbroker. Sal. Sal, brutal. He went exactly where I thought he'd go, and I then some. It, Sal. My God. Yeah, I, I want to. You said unfiltered, so I, a lot of those jokes I threw out. When you said unfiltered, I brought them you back. You put them so. back in. Oh, blame me. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. So when, when Beth gives you shit tonight, it's your fault for the unfiltered. Oh yeah, she'll be, she'll be answering your suck ass emails. <laughs> Uh, he go. must have thought it was a good set. He went over and kissed his lover, Richard. After yeah, right on the ledge. <laughs> he would have done it if it sucked. <laughs> you, know, you know, you're right. It should be unfiltered. I'm going to unfilter. I'm throwing you out. <laughs> good job, Sal. All right, let's go to Reverend Bob Lee. All right, we got another song. You want to hear another song? Yeah. Yeah. Get the, the Polish little... guy back. No. The Polish guy? <laughs> no, Jackie and Fred coming back. <laughs> yeah, no, not another song. We got uh, Barry Hayes coming up. Come on up. Come give on, Barry. Barry Hayes. Uh, don't slow things down. I'll give you the hook. All right, Barry Hayes. Here we go, brother. Uh-huh. Breath like shit. Bob the Boo. He's poppy lips like this. Those big red lips slap. Never seen big teeth like that. His name is Bob the Boo. Mouth is 
eyes open, stinking. Look at the teeth on Bob Booey. His name is 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 Bob Booey. His teeth are so big and so green. His bad breath will knock you over. His name is Bob Booey. His name is Bob Booey. His name is Bob Booey. Bob Booey. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Wowing the crowd. Hey. Good job. Thank you. All the way from Ottawa, Canada. All the way from Canada. Yes. That, that explains the fucked up cro- uncrossed eyes. <laughs> huh. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey uh, I'm yeah, high pitch. Uh, what's high pitch, Mike? Uh, now that guy's got fucked up eyes. What's his name? Guy in the newsroom. Sit down. You were doing good. Thank you, Howard. Thank you, Bob Levy. Let's get back to him. Some guys don't know when to sit down. I know. He was killing. He was doing good. All right, Bob. <laughs> okay. How about another hand for Barry? And we got Barry. Yeah. We're coming to the end. We got the next uh, last few. Let's bring up. Jackie back for that song again. Yeah. Got Alzheimer's. All right, all right. Next person coming up, a woman I can't say her name, Lisa Lamb McNally. She's been on more black men than say handcuffs. Her, say her name properly. Lisa Lamb McNally. I did it right. Lisa Lamb McNally. Yeah. yeah. Lamb McNally. Yes, that's her name. Yes. She's, She's been pounded by more black men than a railroad spike. Let's go. <laughs> All right, Lisa. Come on, Lisa. Lisa. baby. Get them. Put get these guys in their place. Let me have them. Come on. Lisa. Come on. Clap it up for Bob Levy, every. Come on. Lisa. Lisa, you took so much crap from these guys. Give it back That's to them. That's all right. Once again, Bob is the handsomest guy on this dais. Hmm. That's tough. Look at these ugly fucks here today. Richard Christie, Greg Fitzsimmons, Jackie Martling. It looks like the casting call for Mask 2. <laughs> <laughs> if I was going to have sex with the ugly one on the dais, I'd have to pull a train. <laughs> We are here today to honor the long-suffering producer of the Howard Stern Show, Gary Delabate. It's been mentioned often here today that Gary has enormous teeth and lips. Put it this way, Gary's teeth are so heavy, the weight alone could force him to suck his own dick. (laughs) When people tell Gary to keep his chin up, it's not an expression, it's a survival tip. (laughs) And that breath... Gary's breath is so bad, he beat my cunt in a bad breath contest. (laughs) It's true, Howard, I stink. Most women in this business spread their legs and get famous. I spread my legs, and the gynecologist tells me to cut back on dairy. Comedy nobody, Bob Levy. Bob, you've been doing comedy for 30 years and you haven't changed one joke. To hear the original version of Bob's material, you have to crank up the phonograph. Bob's jokes were old when Milton Berle was doing open mics. By the way, Bob, the Museum of uh, Natural History called, they want the stolen notebook back. And that tour, The Killers of Comedy, it's not only unfunny, it's financially awful. If that show was any less successful, it would star Colin Colin Quinn. I can play inside your cunt. Colin Quinn may be a colossal failure, but at least he takes care of himself. Look at you, Artie. Artie, your grooming habits suck. After seeing you last week on Howard TV, the Salvation Army called to see if you need anything. (laughs) Speaking of Howard TV, I'd like to thank Howard Stern for this, his most recent contribution to the world of television. Thank you. Howard Stern has a special gift, a knack, if you will, for making magic on TV. Not just anyone could take B-level talent and create C-level programming. (laughs) But back to the extremely large and misshapen Artie Lang. I joke with you, Artie, but I would like to tell you one thing from the heart. Despite your drug-addled past and present, we're all rooting for you. Thank you. We root for you like we root for a retard we see out bowling. (laughs) We don't expect you to do good. We just don't want to have to clean up your shit out of the alley. (laughs) Don't you laugh at Artie, Colin Quing. At least he's a movie star. But Artie, no offense. Your acting leaves 